бабала. На это нужна далиль. Да, да, факт нужен. Да, да, факт. А ты будешь факт. Did you just see that? Someone was like filming me. Two girls like filming from the entire taxi. Whoa. Celebrity over here. I'm gonna be you. Right, on the way to Sh uh, Shiki City. And we've got a stopover somewhere God knows where. Oh, it's a nice little cute restaurant. We're gonna go and have something to eat. Before we get back on the coach and we head towards the Siki Sea. So yeah, it's blazing hot weather and this is the bus and then oh let's go and get something to eat and then we we'll talk about it later, right? Oh time to cool cool off. Right. Closer, closer to the city of Shiki. Right, my sat nav is telling me about 45 minutes left. Uh, hopefully, we get there in about 45 minutes. So, we shall we shall report soon from the city of Shiki. nothing gained gems are not found easily so you gotta go search for it and there you go the shiki shiki city well i hope i pronounce it right that's what it's called shiki city right in the heart of the uh, caucasus mountain and the oldest city here in azerbaijan um, it's known for what do you know what it's known for i just forgot <laughs> no i haven't right this city is known for loads of things like from the past from the time of the the Silk Road um, those days it used to be like you know caravans were coming over here and having a uh, well, having a stopover and getting served by the locals 
and then they were like moving on back on their ways going further east um, so there's a place well apparently there's a place called over here as the caravan sarai and also uh, if I'm not wrong it is a place for Khan's Khan Sarai, Khan Sarai um, monument and that place my friends is a place where the sheikh of the past of that time from the 18th century they they were coming in here to this beautiful city and staying at during the summertime because as I said this beautiful city is uh, surrounded by the Caucasus mountain on the slope of the Caucasus mountain it is so beautiful uh, scenic and they were coming here and they were staying here so that place my friend it was especially built for those sheikh of the past from that 18th century look at that ladies and gents this place is absolutely amazing it looks absolutely fantastic and guess what i came across with these two lads right what's your name yeah what's your name musa 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 right i was just i came across with these two lads they are from a local area and they're telling me where the uh, main town center is the main town center they told me it's right over there and um yeah so we're gonna find out the hotel and these guys from the local area yeah i got to you Nature at its best. Come over here and have a look at it and check it out. Look, absolutely stunning. And I gotta say, I'm absolutely knackered because I, last night it was about like about before midnight. I came to Baku, stayed overnight in Baku, and again woke up in the morning and got on the bus again, and I'm here after six hours of bus journey. I'm here in this beautiful city of Shakir. The strange thing is, I haven't even booked my hotel yet. <laughs> How crazy is that? And, and I've got no internet, so I do not know how to book the hotel. So we're walking along the city center and I'm hoping, hoping and praying I can manage to find a hotel. I'm sure we can find something but I'm trying to like, get close to the mountain, somewhere like close to the mountain so we can, we can, yeah so we can enjoy and savor this beautiful nature. Why not? Anything for experience you know what I mean? Let's do it. I've got to say it's a bit humid, the city is a bit humid, um, but there's a, a bit of cold breeze. Copas, aguardientes, lo mejor. También el tequila blanco con su sal de sabor. Ay, 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 mi amor. Ay, mi morena de mi corazón. Ay, straight up if there's a one word about me what would you call me crazy it is crazy isn't it 
yeah say no more but crazy say no more but crazy yes it is crazy isn't it coming to a totally strange city knowing nothing about it just heard a little bit about the city and that's all and all that off the internet no any hotel booking no internet anyway who cares we've made it right we've made it to the city so if we made it to the city so hopefully the rest will come along smoothly too so yeah for now right let's take a walk along this little beautiful village or city or whatever it's called right next to the mountain and then my friends I'm sure we will find a hotel somewhere we can stay for a night do a bit of our research and try to get ready for tomorrow I heard a little bit about the city about the um, old time during the time when there was lots of people coming from China from different part of the world at the time of the Silk Road trade between the Far East and most of the people traders of that time they were lodging over here along the along the road somewhere around here and it was it was a place where like they were lodging over for the night they were like parking up their carriages and lodging and then and carrying on on their journeys further towards the east apparently that place is called the self road caravan sarai so that place is called the self road caravan sarai so uh, hopefully we're going to find out that little spot and hopefully we can explore it a little bit uh, because that is a bit of from the past from the history hopefully we'll find out a bit more I'm not going to get run over, I've got no idea where I'm going. Just getting out that way though. Look at the sunset. Doesn't it look amazing? The funny thing is, I do not even know where I'm heading. But it's quite a pleasure walking along this road, going up the hill, getting closer and closer to the Caucasus Mountain. And all these beautiful little ladders or musclage or jigulis, as they used to say it in the, at the time of the Soviet. There are so many of them over here in Azerbaijan. There you go, another one is approaching. Right, I think that's a Russian up up. There you go, we find a Russian here, my friends. I've got to say the scenery is getting even more pretty and prettier as like, we walk up and get close to the uh, Caucasus mountain or the Caucasus uh, uh, slopes that makes me forget about seeking the accommodation just yet because obviously it's a daylight and things look so beautiful and the weather's quite nice so we might as well might as well carry on exploring the area and then it comes darkness at night then we try to find ourselves a little lodge or place where we can sit and chill and relax. Right, this is a cafe and a bar, a restaurant lounge, old town. What's that saying? Shaky. Oh, right, it's a hotel, right? Yeah, it is a hotel. Should we go and find out? Uh, maybe a bit later on. Let's let's carry on walking. It's so pleasant. It really is. Right, let's enjoy it, right, before the sun sets and then it starts getting dark, then we won't be able to find anything. I mean, 
will be able to tell. Our beautiful ears. Look. Right, the Caucasus Mountain. Right. Let's carry on. Shall we do a like, shortcut? Go over there. No, let's not do that. Imagine we get lost. And there are some stray dogs from the streets coming attacking us. Right. Let's go and find out. And check this place out. So I was walking up the hill, trying to get close to the uh, Caucasus Mountain, seeking and searching for the accommodation. I came along and I bumped into this little pub. And check this out, my friends. Look at that. How cute is that? Basically, you can get served service, all right? You can pull, pull, pull your own point and put your money in, and that's it. There you go. Or you run the tap on, on, on that tap. It's amazing. Yeah, man, that's so cute. And you've got football on as well, the screen. Something that I really was looking for. So obviously today, my friends, it's Tuesday and England's playing as well. So, good start. Well, if there's a pub around the corner and it needs a football on, you gotta go inside. Simple as. So that's what happened to me. So I just popped into the pub. Watch football. So Spain against it was Spain against Croatia. So Spain was winning 3-1. I've been to my hotel room and they sent me a text message telling me to come quick. No, didn't say that. So okay, what time you coming? I said, well, no problem. I'll be there in about 20 minutes. So I'm on my way. Now, did you just see that? Someone was like filming me. Two girls like filming me from inside a taxi. Whoa, celebrity over here. But, so I got to stick to my promise. Give them my word. I'll get to the hotel within 20 minutes. So I left the football. Anyway, the football was about to finish anyway. So I'm not on my way going towards a hotel.